everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a layout for you for Mixed Media Frenzy. And I'm using this photo here of my son. He drew this really cute picture. And I took a picture of him because he wanted me to. And I decided to scrap lift it because I, I'm using it for this particular um, um, sketch because I felt like it went really well with it. Because see how he's got the lines coming down. And this kind of has that type of grungy type of look to it. So I did pick this layout, um, sketch for this week for our Mixed Media Frenzy. So I kind of like it. I really like doing grungy layouts sometimes. And um, I really liked this one. So I thought this photo would fit in perfectly. So the papers that I'm using today are My Mind's Eye. Um, it is a very old boys collection. And the papers are really flimsy. So I actually um, gessoed it and then I had to stick a another piece of white cardstock behind the actual paper that I'm using so that it would make it a little bit more sturdier. So now I'm using Color Bloom Spray. Um, it's from Prima. And I got it at scrapbook.com. And this one is called Fairy Pond. And see how they have that big splatter in the um, sketch? Um, that's what I'm trying to um, do as well. So I'm kind of using my paintbrush to make like a circle, but um, I also made those drips. So now I'm going to go in with this stencil and there is a lot of little circles on here. There's even stitching. I didn't do stitching though on this layout. Um, I just felt like it would be too much with the arrows and everything. So I just stuck to the stenciling part. So I used this stencil and I used hickory, um, smoked hickory, I believe it's called, distress oxide. It's it's a black color and I used it to um, run through my stencil here um, that I had with these little circles and um, little bits. I don't know what you would call them. And I'm kind of doing it on the side here and then I'm going to have one coming out to the photo. So it kind of like glides along and then runs like right into the photo. And I'm going to do um, a few more on the top up here. And then I also do some underneath the photo a little bit just to kind of tie it all together. And then I'm going to have the photo like that. Now, I'm also going to do, because in the um, sketch, you'll see they have a little cluster on the bottom with some stuff going on there with some stenciling and some black spots and stuff. So I decided to put one down there. And now I'm going to also put one underneath my picture here. Um, just to bring a little more attention to the picture. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm also going to um, go in up on the top a little bit as well. Now on the sketch, you see a little bit of light. Um, there's some lighter colors that aren't so black. So I decided to um, also, after I do this black piece down here, I'm also gonna come in with um, a gray color of my Distress Oxide. Um, I can't remember the color though, I'm so sorry, but it is a gray. And I'm going to stencil in a few of these little circles just to kind of mix it up a little bit and bring some other light colors in there, like in the sketch. And then after I'm done with all this stenciling, <laughs> this was a lot of stenciling. Um, I come in and see how there's some numbers. Um, I do come in with numbers as well. But first I'm going to use, this is an Altenew. Um, I bought online. Um, it is a awesome um, stencil. And it has like the, the splatters all over it. But the bigger ones too. So it's really easy just to run your brush through and you use your Distress Oxide colors to make it look like you have splatters, like that. So I'm using, um, it's um, Mermaid Lagoon, this one is. And I decided to go in with that because it's very close to the Fairy Pond color um, spray that I used. So they went really well together. So I figured I would do some of the blue splotches as well because they do have a lot of um, splatters and big splotches all over um, 
the layout. Now this is supposed to be a grungy look, so it is supposed to look like this. I know some people do not like this type of look. I do. I like it. I like trying all different kinds of things. I like mixing it up and just trying new stuff. That's my style. And now I'm going to go in and I am going to pop up my photo with some craft foam. And pretty much my background is done as far as paints and stenciling. It was not hard to do this at all. It was very easy. It did not take me long and it was great. And I liked the way the layout turned out because his picture really, really went well with this type of a background. So I was very excited about that. Um, and I'm glad that I had this picture to do this layout. So now I had these little um, paint palette <laughs> in Femra and a little paintbrush and I thought that's perfect. And then I had um, this little um, also 3D sticker that says um, ephemera. Well, it's it's like a 3D sticker, I guess you say. Um, I had two of them. One is say one says create every day, and I'm gonna put that one in the corner. And then this one says my creative life, which I really really liked because I thought that was perfect. And I'm gonna kind of do a little cluster here with it. And I'm just taping everything down. And I am trying to figure out where I'm going to put the paintbrush and how I'm going to lay it. And I decided to kind of do it like that. So that's how it's going to go. But first I pop up, um, I had to stick a little piece of craft foam underneath this little um, ephemera piece because it was only half on the photo. So I had to pop it up a little bit. And then for the paintbrush, I just popped up the middle section of it that kind of sticks out like that. And I'm just gonna put a little piece there and then the rest is going to be taped down with my tape gun. And while I am doing that, I just wanted to remind you all not to forget to check out the other ladies who are also doing Mixed Media Frenzy. I will have their layouts down below. So now I have this Vicki Booten um, sticker booklet and it had numbers in it. Stick These really nice sticker that were numbers. So I decided to use those. So um, there's numbers all over the um, the sketch there. So um, I don't keep the three on there. I do end up taking it off. I didn't like it. It was too much white, I thought, for this. So I end up using the four, the six, and I do use that nine, or it could be a six. I mean, it depends on how you want to look at it. And I did put that one, and I kind of just stuck with the greens, the blacks, and um, the reds for this. And then I saw this little green arrow and I decided to stick that down as well because they had an arrow coming out from their big swatch. So now I decided to go in with some black splatters. I just felt like it needed some more black in it. So I watered down some acrylic paint and um, I went in and did some black splatters. And that is really it. For this layout so this was super easy really fun to do um, I like trying out new and different things and I really liked this um, this sketch that I chose um, for this week so I hope you guys do too um, I also wanted to remind you guys not to forget to subscribe to my channel um, I am over my 500 and I'm going to have a video very soon of a giveaway because um, I promised when I got to 500 that I would have a giveaway so that is what I am going to do. So in order to um, be part of the giveaway, I need you to comment on my videos and leave a like, um, a little thumbs up, and you will be entered into a drawing. And then I will um, announce the winner. And I'm going to give you guys a week to do that. So please, please, please um, subscribe. And so you have a chance to win something. And here are your close-ups. And I also did back that piece of paper with another piece of paper, which I did not show, I'm sorry about that. But it is there, and it was another scrap sheet from my mind's eye as well, the boy collection. And I just felt like it needed a little, little something else. So, and there it is. And I really love the way this turned out, guys. I hope you do too. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.